Ski Planet, the magazine of the art of living of cross-country skiing across the world, is presented by Montaigne du Jura, the official Nordic destination in France. Hi, welcome to the first episode of Ski Planet by World of Pets, your new worldwide cross-country marathon skiing show. Today we are in Changchun, northeast of China, to discover the great Vasalopet China. But first, let's have a look at the summary. In this first episode, we'll go to Italy to look at the touching story of a march along a senator. Then we'll take part in the race and provide an update on the FIS World Luppet Cup rankings. We'll also prepare our next trip to Austria and we'll end this episode in the amazing Vasa Banquet. But first, let's go to Changchun to discover the secrets of Chinese ice sculptors. Hello, I'm great. How many people are you waiting for during this weekend? Uh, How long did you take to build everything? Uh, Do you build sculpture only for the Vasalopet China race? Uh, what is the, the meaning of this snake and all animals around us? Uh, this snake is one of the What inspired the designer to build the, all this sculpture? 我们每年学校创作的灵感呢，主要是根据我们每一年中国发生的一些大事小情啊，这样的一些元素，把它放在里面。那更多呢，也是来自于我们设计师的一些个人的想法。So you and your team are artists. It's impressive. How do you learn to build this? 本身呢，我们就是学设计、学雕刻类的学生。那当我们毕业之后呢，我们就还是会从事雕刻这个行业。在夏天的时候呢，我们更多的会做一些呃园林设计，或者是呃艺术造型这种雕刻的主题人物形
the finish line. I feel like the champion. Even though I have never won, I raise my arms up in the air and I think about all the champions who did the same. From Ulrich Kostner, the first winner in 1971, until the Auckland brothers, Arlen and Guerre Darlin, and Chernuzov, the Russian who won the last edition. I am crying. I should be used to this feeling after crossing this finish line for the 46th time. Yes, I am a senator, and I have finished all the editions. But every time is like the first time. Why did you decide to come here in China? Well, first of all, um, the rules. Okay. They uh, decided to go for an uh, overseas race. Okay. But I really enjoy it and I think it's, it's a nice experience uh, yeah. to go with all these uh, community. Okay, welcome in my team. Thanks a lot, <laughs> thanks a lot. You really enjoy it. It's cold. Yeah, we need to move. So let's go for the race to Fava. Our main goal here for sure is to de help develop the more cross-country skiing in China. I mean, they have no history of cross-country skiing, so it's still a very, very young sport, but we see every year more and more, so that's the main focus. And of course, we're glad that for every foreigner who come here too. Uh, last year we actually had a few Chinese guys who come to the Swedish Vasaloppet okay. and hopefully that will increase the number. We are still in the beginning of it. So uh, I finished the race. Uh, it was really fun. Um, not, uh, it was different than I, I used to, to do. For the first time in history, the FIS World Luppet Cup kicked off in China at the Vasa Luppet China. And for the first time ever, we see a Chinese skier, Wu Gan, come away wearing the red bib, representing the overall leader of the cup. In the ladies' race, Maria Grafening's victory was not the biggest surprise, but in any case, her performance was breathtaking. And every bit as impressive was the performance of the Chinese skier coming in third behind her. But it was good. I worked with a couple uh, Swedish folks the cool. whole race. You like the track? Yes, the track was good. Yes. Okay, nice. Lots of double polling. It's a good organized race and it's amazing like this sculpture yeah. they make and you race in this park and it goes like quite narrow and then yeah, it's it's a really fun and usually the weather is really nice. Yeah. Also. Excellent, very nice. Yeah. The tracks are very nice and uh, right, left, up, down. Yeah. So uh, not boring. It's nice to be here because my goal is the, the stamp of the world Loppet. And now I have done the China race. Okay. So it's only one in Argentina for me missing. You like the atmosphere here? Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you, you never think about skiing in China. So we combine that so the ski race, a little bit holiday, sightseeing. Okay. That's important. This uh, race was very good and uh, uh, the slopes uh, were excellent. Now the race is over. I have to go back to the hotel and I prepare myself for the banquet. And you, what will be your next World Lopet race? Let's have a look at our travel notebook. Now it's time to focus on the 45th International Dolomitenlauf and its many side events. The Dolomitenlauf is Austria's largest and most important cross-country skiing event held over 20 to 42 kilometers in the alpine village of Overtiliak, which is also known as the Nordic Mecca in East Tyrol. A total of six different races with different levels in distance and difficulties are offered during the four-day event. Apart from the main competitions, you shouldn't miss watching the Dolomiten Sprint on Friday evening, 
where 30 world-class printers will delight thousands of spectators from all over the world. Guaranteed snow on the trails in Obertiliac and more than 300 volunteers will make sure that your next weekend in Austria will be a winter highlight. Congratulations for your show. It was uh, really beautiful and poetic. What is the name of uh, of this dance? It's uh, a traditional um, dance in China. Uh, 我刚才跳的这个舞蹈, 叫做水秀, 那么水秀也是中国舞的一种。他们传达了我们中国这种博大精神的水文化平剧刘巧儿 What is the, the history of your art? 啊, 这就是一个代表, 表现一个农村戏, 啊, 包包婚姻的一个剧种, 它, what were the different uh, characters of, uh, of your show? 啊, 是不一样的 啊, 我们中国戏剧有五大剧种, 京剧, 平剧, 豫剧, 黄梅戏, 还有那个预剧 This brings us already to the end of the first episode of Ski Planet by World Lopet. It was a pleasure for me to discover China. See you in two weeks in Austria for the next episode. Bye bye. Ski Planet, the magazine of the art of living of cross-country skiing across the world, was presented to you by Montaigne de Jura, the official Nordic destination in France.